So today, my friends, I'm going to read to you If You Give a Moose a Muffin by Laura Numeroff and illustrated the pictures by Felicia Bond. And I've looked at the cover and I've read other If You Give a um, books and I've looked at the back and I see that it has a little blurb. If you give a moose a muffin, chances are he'll want some jam, another muffin, or another. And will it ever end? So I really like these books because they're really pretty funny and I like to see what the author comes up with creatively for um, the animals to do or like. So today I'm also going to remember that the pictures are going to help me. So I'm going to look at the picture for a few seconds before I read the story. And then if I get to a word that I don't know, then I'm going to be thinking about what it starts with and what it ends with looking through the word. That will be my, my skill. That's what good readers do. So here we go. I finished looking at the picture, so I'm going to read the book. If you give a moose a muffin, where is that muffin? He'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another. And another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts on the sweater, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask you for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask you for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants it to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout. Boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over his paints. Yikes. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. he 
you'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. Maybe the leaf of the mother's right there. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. Oh, Laura Lumerth, it's so funny because we start all the way at the beginning again. I wonder what will happen next if we had a book two about moose, if you give a moose a muffin.